Everyone at home. Today, Orly Shani is making a DIY collage purse that combines fashion with your very favorite photos. You're going to love this. Yes. It's so, so easy to do and it's spectacular. Yes. Yeah. This is fabulous, you guys. So, this one right here, I created and I went online and I found mm -hmm. a bunch of magazine covers that I loved, that I either owned as a child or that I've looked at over the years, mm -hmm. or maybe women who I'm obsessed with. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Who's Christina that? Ferrari. Oh, Christine. Really? Oh. <laughs> You're on her purse. Yeah, I know I'm yeah. on her purse. She was on the cover of Bizarre Mag, y'all. So, <laughs> you know. Years ago. Um, so, yeah, a little creepy. <laughs> just I, I love it. Googled her and I started really, downloading. I'm honored that Good I made stalker bags. Of course. Yes, Great exactly. Stalker bags. Yeah. Make it and send it to someone you're stalking. <gasps> no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> so, this is, this is, um, I'm going to show you guys in a moment kind of how I did the actual graphic of it. But the first thing you're going to do is, save either photos that you have, ones that you've taken, put them mm. all in a folder, or you know, go online and download the ones that you want, put them all in a folder. There's a program called Picasa. This is a free download if you have a PC. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, you know, I have this on my computer, I use it to edit all of my photos, um, and this is completely free. Can you do so, it on Mac? Um, Picasa I don't think is on Mac, but I think you can do this with iPhoto. Oh, okay, good, great. So what you would do is on the left there, if you can go back to the last photo, on the left there were all of the images that I downloaded right. for this <laughs> project. And there's my blank canvas. Now I dragged them all into the center of my mm -hmm. photo. I made it an 8 by 5, 8.5 by 11. And now you just start dragging and dropping them where you want them to go. I kind of moved them around. I made some bigger, some smaller. Like and I just puzzle. started, exactly, yeah, like a puzzle. puzzle. And yeah. I started creating my own collage. The only thing that's really important here is you want no white gaps. You don't want this to look like yeah, yeah, one of yeah. those contact photo things mm -hmm. where it's like each picture is the same size and there's a white border. Mm -hmm. You want certain pictures to be larger, some to be smaller, and mm. no white space in between at all. Okay. So that's the first thing you do. <clears throat> Next, okay, Dave, I was trying to figure out how to do this and Dave Lowe, the knower Our of all things, yeah. told me about this. This is, is fabric paper. Oh. You take this, you put it through your printer, the back of it's like paper here, Feel it. and the front oh, of it fabric. is fabric. That's crazy. It goes right through a regular printer. Any printer that you have at home will wow. work. And then is you can adhesive? print, no, it's not adhesive, but this is what it, Look at how nice and yeah. look at oh, very look. pliable. It's fabric. Look like fabric. If I go to DIY yeah. jail, yeah. I'm so going to have Dave there to help break me out. Yeah, exactly. He knows everything. Exactly, like phone a friend. Yeah, it's just exactly. Always Dave. He's Dave. So wow. the, the only thing you're going to need to do is print this as many sheets as you want. Maybe give yourself a couple extra. That way, mm -hmm. if there's some, like on on the one that I made here. You know, I couldn't get a piece of paper that was large enough, so there's some duplicate. So, like, I blew it up, and then I would have to piecemeal it so that it's mm. the exact right mm -hmm. size. So maybe print a couple extra so you have that. And as if a... you wanted it here, you would just cut it. Exactly. Okay. So if I wanted it here, like, what I would have to do is start down here, and so I'd have to cut off that excess, mm -hmm. and I'd fill no in No white these. lines. No white no lines. No white lines, right. Yeah. So you cut off all that so that you're, you end up with something awesome. like this. That's just your pictures. And then you peel it off. And now we glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on this clutch because there's one thing here that can be a little difficult that I want to show you guys. So first, Mod Podge. That's beautiful. Yeah. Mod Podge is a, um, you know, we use this all the time, but it works not only as the glue but also as the top coat. So we're just going to paint. Is this leather you're putting it on? This is a faux, a leather. faux leather. Oh, go for yeah. it. I want to do it. Yeah, yeah get in there. So you just want to do a nice thin coat kind of all over, and if it if you're worried about putting on really simple lines, you could start by doing like two inches okay. and yeah. get that one little corner in and then paint as you go, but that's perfect there. Okay. Now we're going to put this right on top, and you kind of want to check here on the sides that you've got a similar mm -hmm. overlap on all four sides, because we are going to try to go down in the corners. I can feel with my fingers where it's a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, I did it here, but I'll show, show you how I did it. You see how that comes down into a perfect little point? Right. Mm. Did you cut it there? So yes. Yeah. So see how you yes. slice here. I'll go from the top. So see right here, it's a perfect square. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to come in here because yeah. it's a little awkward, sorry. You go in like that. So now you have that little slit. And now pinch it and just go down with your scissor. Nice. So you have that clean oh, nice. line. Do you have now a little bit of time when you're working with the Mod Podge? It doesn't stick right away, right? You can move it around no, if you it, need you to? No, you can move it around. And you can also, if you realize you made a mistake, you can also pull it right off, put more, mm -hmm. and then put it back on. Okay. It's not like it's very it'll... very forgiving. Exactly. Yeah. And will it just dry in the air? 
and it will just dry like normal. So once you do that, you oh, would wait, go around <laughs> all these, yeah, around all these little edges so that the whole thing lays nice and flat. Would you tape off that, that brass side? No, you don't need no. to? No, so it depends. If it's something like this, if it's a fabric purse, it's gonna dry clear. So okay. if you got some on the edges, like I wanted mm. to have that white border, yeah. I got some here on the edges, but it dries clear, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Something like this, face. something I like this, oh, baby. <laughs> something like this that's metal, you could always go with your fingernail. You know, it's I like take glue, it off. Yeah. and just yeah. take it off. Okay. So once this is all done, then you're going to go on top. Again, and oh, seal it all. Stuff is genius. Wow. It really is. I thought it was only a sealer, and so I was asking Dave. I'm like, "What material do you think I can use to glue it?" Yeah. He's like, "Mod Podge." I'm like, "No, no, no, with the glue." <laughs> yeah. He's like, "Oh, okay. you kids. You, yeah, you <laughs> guys kids. don't know anything." Um, no, he's like, "It works as both, and it really does work perfectly." Is the process more difficult if your family isn't this gorgeous? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're sweet. I just borrow I'm other just people's saying. kids. <laughs> yeah, put, put those on there. Yeah. yeah. You know what? And I think the one thing that's really that's really cool about this is not only is this a really beautiful keepsake for yourself. Imagine you know showing up to a, a party and this is the bag that you've got and everyone. Yeah. It's, it's a showstopper. It's a state piece but imagine giving this as a gift like making it for grandparents so cool. yeah. of all the grandkids yeah. or really anything so th you know this one here is like a time capsule of things you know awesome. I grew up loving and and images and you know mm -hmm. there's like Janet Jackson and you know Jennifer Aniston sure. and all these cool images that I love mm -hmm. and then this one is personal because it's family so you know there's a lot of options so but lovely. Mod Podge on the bottom Mod Podge on the top and you don't have dry. to pull your phone out and show people yeah. pictures of your kids <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly yeah. and then if you and if you really are stalking somebody Somebody, don't send it to them, actually give it to them. Yes, so always show up in person when yeah. you're stalking. Yeah. <laughs>